While for some, external distractions are the main issue, for others, they struggle more with internal distraction. Internal distractions are the unwanted thoughts and moods that divert your attention. Sometimes they're just annoying, and other times they can be debilitating. The mood that you're in really impacts how well you can concentrate. Being in a positive mood increases your focus because it makes you more energetic, but being in a bad mood makes concentrating sluggish or frustrating. Sometimes we have negative or distracting thoughts which make working difficult. It's a bit paradoxical, but sometimes we get so wrapped up in telling ourselves we can't do our assignment or focus that we use all of our energy and time we could have used working. It's important to learn how to identify negative moods and thought patterns so that you can address them. Anxiety is an especially frustrating internal distraction. It's caused by stress hormones and makes you feel jittery and unsettled, almost like you've had too much caffeine. A constant low-grade fight-or-flight response takes away control from the brain's prefrontal cortex and gives it to parts of the brain that are less concerned with thinking and concentration. Over time, episodic or consistent anxiety can erode our focus and even lead to depression. Depression, similarly, is poor for concentration, or rather, poor concentration is a symptom of depression. It can be difficult and scary to learn how to manage your moods and internal distractions, but thankfully there are some things that you can do. Here are a few tips. Make sure to get some fresh air, sunshine, and nature. Get off your phone. Try to do things for a bit without any screen time or music. Sometimes doing an activity like reading or cooking in peace can really calm your mind. Take some time to just turn off. Even if just for 15 minutes, don't think about school or work. Sometimes just sitting in silence with your own thoughts can be restorative. And for others, sometimes just sitting with friends and talking for a couple minutes can really help their mood. Reframe your perspective. Instead of engaging in all or nothing thinking, try to talk things through with yourself rationally. For example, every time you would think, there's no way I can do this assignment, try to rephrase it as, this assignment is tough, but if I do my best, I'm sure I can finish it, or at least learn something new. Understand that it's not the end of the world even if you fail a class or a test. Exercise. Even just 20 minutes of walking can really improve your concentration and mood. Learn to practice mindfulness or meditation. Both of these practices are scientifically shown to improve mood and alter brain chemistry. Get some help from a professional or talk to a friend, especially if any feelings become unbearable. Cognitive behavioral therapy is an excellent tool to treat mental health issues, including negative thinking. This is a pretty good time to mention ADHD. ADHD, or Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, is a condition which can affect attention, hyperactivity, and impulsiveness. While these tips are all certainly useful, if you have ADHD, it's still important to talk to a doctor, therapist, or other professional if you struggle with school. They can help form a plan with you and help you consider different options so that you can succeed in your classes. Thanks for watching this video, and make sure to check out the next one to hear about what the brain needs in order to concentrate, as well as how you can use this information practically.